just want to kind of get your initial thoughts on Mantha joining the team and what he kind of brings, and then also the flip side of uh, you know the team losing Verona to Detroit. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Mo is uh, a good addition to the team. Um, he's with me and Nick today, so uh, you know we'll we'll see more tonight. But it's always hard playing against him. He's a big body, uh, very hard to take the puck away from him, and he he's uh, he finds ways to score goals. So. Uh, it's going to be exciting trying to try to get him the puck out there and see what he can do. Um, on the flip side, um, I think it's been well documented in the socially and in the media and stuff how how well I got along with V. And um, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna miss him. And uh, it's part of the business. I've been here for a while, and um, you know you, you uh, a lot of a lot of friends have been traded away, or I've been traded away from a lot of good friends. So um, I wish him all the best and. And I hope he goes down there and kills it and, and be the, uh, the star player that we know he is. Thank you. We'll go to Tarek El Bashir with The Athletic. Uh, what kind of things can you do to help Anthony um, kind of assimilate and, and get comfortable, um, especially in his first game tonight? Uh, I think mostly for, for myself, try not to turn the puck over. Let, it, let him play in the, in the fun zone down in the O zone. And uh, lots, of, lots of chat on the ice. Um, I don't. I don't feel like me and Nick are, are hard guys to, to get a read out of yeah. on the ice. So um, you know, it'll just be a be a lot of talk, reading, reacting, and and uh, try to build some chemistry here. You guys are a top team in the league. When when you go through something like this, you know, Siegenthaler and Ponick and Verona, and you get Anthony, is that kind of, is that kind of make you sit up straight a little bit? Kind of like whoa, it's it, it's go time now. Does that kind of get everyone's attention? And is that a good thing? Uh, yeah, it does a little bit. Um, you know, I think it's it's always nice seeing the direction of the organization around the trade deadline, whether, um, you know, they're gearing up to to make a good run or or if they're maybe, you know, trying to get some assets for down the road. So um, obviously by by the moves and and getting them all, we're, we're and, and uh, raffle, we're looking at making a move here and 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 and, and making another run at this thing. So uh, I personally am very excited that, uh, that the deadline's over and. And now we can start focusing on getting our team ready to play playoff hockey. Thanks, man. Yeah. We go to Tom Galetti with NHL.com. I was going to actually just ask that, like, when the deadline passes, is that feeling of uh, here is our team and let's go to work now? Does that usually settle in that, that next morning? It does. It does. It does quite a bit. I think. Um, I feel like usually more so in other years than this year. Um, but uh, once that deadline passes. Um, you, you got your team and, uh, you know, kind of solidifies um, the group that, uh, that you're going to be ready to, to make a run with. And the, the Stanley Cup run, the playoff run is, is, is a hard thing to do. And you want a good group of guys to do it with if you're, if you're going to make it all the way. And, and uh, I'm definitely very excited about our, the squad we got right now and looking forward to, uh, to sharpening up a couple of things as we get closer to, uh, to the playoffs here. And then, uh, and then putting it all in. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to Ben Raby with the Capitals Radio Network. Hey, TJ, it may not be apples to apples, but I want to ask, when you were traded from St. Louis to the Caps, I know it was over an off season, but you go from a team you spent the start of your career with, you get sort of a fresh start, mid-contract, you had some term left to play with Ovi, to play with Backstrom. What, what, what did that do for you to – maybe give you a, a lift and reignite and do you think maybe Anthony can, can have similar tra transition? Uh, yeah, I think he can. I think, um, you know, when, when you're with, in one place for, for quite a while, it uh, with a lot of the, a lot of the same faces, things can get a little repetitive and um, depending on what, what path you're on, sometimes it can uh, things that aren't quite as bad can, you know, feel worse or, Seasons can feel long if you're not winning games, and um, I think a change, change of scenery uh, more times than not is going to light a fire under somebody, and um, it definitely did for me, especially coming to a team like Washington when you you said it, you see Backstrom and Ovi, you know your eyes kind of light up. Um, so it was uh, it was and still is very exciting for me to to be with those guys, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure Mo has similar. Um, feelings uh i think i had two years left on his deal i think he's he's got around three um maybe uh you guys can check that but um yeah i hope he's excited he seemed excited this morning to get here 
and to, to be with the guys. And he already seems like he's, he's going to mesh in really well. So um, it's, it's, we're, we're very excited about it. We'll go to Paul Sarfewski with NHL.com International. Uh, hi, TJ. Do you feel like uh, by getting a player like Anthony, the, the team is trying to move towards more of a physical style, more of a, you know, a power-based game that uh, maybe the management field will bring you more success than the previous uh, year or so? Um, I think, I think uh, a physical style game is already something that's kind of um, ingrained in, in our team a little bit. Um, so I don't think there's necessarily a, a, a message being sent. Um, but obviously a guy like him, a, a guy that with, with his size and his athletic ability at that size, plus his ability to score, I think is, uh, is a recipe for, it can be a recipe for success on, uh, for him personally and, and his line in the team. Um, when you're, you know, you're in playoffs and things are more physical and, you need to fight for the front of the net and uh, you need someone to score those big goals. Um, I think he can be a guy that can do that for us. Thanks. We'll go to Andy Costco with the Washington Times. Hey, TJ, have you had a chance to talk to Jacob Ron at all, get a sense of how he's feeling after the trade? Uh, it was uh, uh, a text yesterday. Um, I, I, I tried to call the actually within seconds after I saw it on uh on social media and um, obviously he, his phone was, was blown up like crazy and him trying to get things figured out. So we'll probably chat a little bit more on it later, but uh, just, a, just a quick text um, similar to what I, what I sent out on uh, social media yesterday. And um, he sent a nice text back. So like I said, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. It's hard, always hard seeing a, a good buddy um, go to another team, but uh, I hope, I hope he does, really, really good job down there.